Naperville is track and field title town once again. Four national titles and 11 All-American trophies made their way back from Delaware, Ohio last weekend. Oh yeah, the team outdoor title is here again as well. We're doing plenty of running on the Cardinal Report and it starts right now. Hi, welcome to the final edition of this year's Cardinal Report. I'm Alex Simmons. This week we're joined by the North Central Track teams. We start with the men head and track and field coach, Frank Gramoroso. Coach, you said after national indoor title number one as a head coach that things were pretty stressful and uh, it seemed like a lot of people were reaching out to you after you guys had won the title, emails, calls. How much was your phone and uh, inbox kind of blowing up after the outdoor title that you guys took last weekend? Yeah, it's still coming in. I had uh, 45 uh, text messages and uh, there's still some uh, emails from home and at school, so going to start trying to respond to everybody. But uh, it's great to have everybody interested in uh, looking at those results and following us all the time. And this one, really down to the wire. You talk about you know, the points, you're maybe a little scoreboard watching. You have the last two events you guys have scoring people in. Last three events, lacrosse has people that can score in. And it's going down to the wire. Tell me, what was kind of your demeanor as uh, those last couple of events go on and, you know, it's, it's all out there happening? Well, lacrosse had a great meet. I mean, with uh, points coming in as far as how many chances you have and what uh, where you ranked, uh, lacrosse was under 40 points, and mm -hmm. they had a huge meet. Um, uh, you know, it came down to those last three events. I wasn't sure what we were going to make up the seven points at uh, after the 200 meters where mm -hmm. they were ahead uh, 51 to 42. But then certainly uh, them not having a distance runner and Mike Spain coming off the 10K, you know, got us a one point lead. And then it was up to the relay, them against us. So it was really exciting. It was down to the wire. The team trophy that made its way back to Naperville marked four straight track and field titles for the Cardinal program. Let's take a look. The track and field facilities at Ohio Wesleyan and Delaware, Ohio were in full use at the NCAA Outdoor Championships. North Central had four entries into the pole vault. Junior John Wood is one of them. Here he clears 16 feet, three and a quarter inches. He would eventually clear the bar four inches higher to take sixth place. Sophomore Josh Winder made the trip as well. He has no trouble with 16, seven and a quarter inches. Winder sprained an ankle, but still finished in fourth. From there, it was all Peter Garrity. The sophomore found his way over the bar at 17 feet 3 inches. That shatters the Selby Stadium record and brings him a national title. The three Cardinals on the podium gave the North Central men 18 points. To Saturday now, Mike Spain already won the 10K national title. Now he's hoping to do the same in the 5K. Going into the bell lap, the senior sits in sixth place. But down the back stretch, that's about to change. Spain's kick comes out in a big way, and the competition is left in the dust. He finished the final 200 meters in just over 30 seconds. That's a national title and a one-point lead heading into the final event. That event is the 4x400 meter relay. John Karen comes out of the gate first. Cards need to finish ahead of Wisconsin lacrosse to take home the team trophy. Dan Benton runs the anchor leg for North Central, and he's got his work cut out for him. Into the last turn, Benton and the Cardinals are in third, but the Eagles sit in second. Inside 50 meters, Benton starts to close the gap. Rowan College finishes in first, McMurray takes second, but who is in third? It's the Cardinals, two tenths of a second and two points separate first from second. The Cardinals are top dogs. Coach, you alluded to it there a little bit. Uh, Mike Spain in the 5K, really one of the events coming down to the wire, it looks like. You know, going to the bell lap, he's sitting in sixth, and then he makes a move that almost nobody really expected. Yeah, he, uh, it, it was surprising, you know, coming off with blistered, uh, blood blisters from the 10K and that amazing sprint in the 10K to win that. And I think everybody else just felt comfortable that he was out of the lead and nobody knew what to do then. And all of a sudden on that back stretch, he got to third and then the second, and then with 200 meters to go, just, put the hammer down and no one responded. I think they were surprised to see him back. And, you know, he really elevated, uh, you know, the 
energy that uh, we all felt going through that whole race. Yeah, I know uh, one of the guys at the finish line kind of looked around and said, no, nobody could have saw that coming. It was yeah. just one of those things that came out of nowhere. We don't want it to get lost in the shuffle. As you said, he wins the 10K, and uh, you guys have Dan Curley taking fifth in that to bring home another All-American. Uh, you know, Mike Spain's going to be leaving for graduation here uh, this spring. You guys aren't going to have him in cross or track and field. Is Dan and Neil Klein also a guy taking part in that race, somebody that can kind of emerge as maybe the leader of that team? Yeah, we're hoping that they uh, move up. Cross country really starts today, and uh, we'll see, have a team meeting and uh, look uh, to the future for those guys to step up. Uh, Curly, you know, was a surprise, but uh, Klein really has had a lot of injury problems in track. He's a two-time All-American, but certainly now in uh, track and field, he's made that giant leap. So looking for a lot of things out of him in the future. And uh, the other event that followed that 5K was the 4x400 relay. You know, two tenths of a second separated you guys in lacrosse. That eventually gave you guys the team trophy. And this relay had kind of been snake bit in the last couple of years, but they run a good race in the prelims. They go out in finals, do it again, and uh, brought home the team trophy and a little bit of redemption for them, I'd imagine. Yeah, I think so. I, I know it's going to be a crawl in their gut that they wanted to win. Uh, they had the top time, but at that point, uh, you know, it's anybody's game. And certainly some of the teams that did not have anybody run an open event were a little fresher. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Dan coming off his injury had a phenomenal meet, winning that 400 meters. And I know he's a little tired, but he gave it all and uh, snuck in there two tenths of a second, uh, beating lacrosse, and we win the meet by two points. And one of the guys that I think provisionally qualified in the outdoors but didn't make it to the meet that made some noise at indoors, scored some big points for you guys. Bobby Kaputska, he's uh, getting ready to go into his senior season. What are a couple things you think he maybe needs to work on, maybe needs to do that he can be there at that outdoor stage and bring home some points like he did at indoors? Yeah, he has to work on some consistency. And outdoors is a little bit more difficult with, uh, you know, you had the hammer and the discus and, you know, you're chasing around trying to get all those good practices in. And, and, and for some, it's a, you know, uh, probably a tension release. You go from one event to the next, and then sometimes, uh, you know, one event will outshine the other event. But whereas indoors, we knew 35 pound weight. Uh, was his event. He's had a wrist injury that kind of hurt him in the shot a little bit, and I think that affected him outdoors. But he made a last valiant effort at the last meet, and he's just got to come outdoors and uh, consistently put the good throws together to reach the national level. Well, as things uh, start to wind down here, I imagine uh, maybe you get a little bit less busy. Do you get any time off in the summer uh, before this all starts up again in August? Yeah, we get some, but right now, the next couple of weeks, a lot of uh, high school students will start that process and be looking at a school, mm -hmm. and sometimes academically, uh, they're not uh, well qualified. Other times they are, but we have a housing shortage that we got to try to get them in. I think there's a list right now of uh, 60 on the housing list, and right. I know they're going to start uh, soon. The uh, Fourth floor, the Res Rec Center, so that'll add some additional beds uh, in the following year. But we're pretty busy through June trying to, uh, you know, not only land some recruits for this uh, coming year, but start it all over again for next year, looking at all the juniors who did very well in the state of Illinois and uh, other states. Well, you've got a lot on your plate, Coach. Thanks for coming by, and congratulations once again. Thank you. Stick around. More track and field talk when the Cardinal Report returns.